Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Starbound version 1.1. And in this Let's Learn episode, I'm going to go over the new fishing content that was added with the Starbound 1.1. Basically, how to fish, how to make poles, what to expect, what to look for, all that good stuff. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and find out how to make these two new poles. You go into your agricultural table or your uh, foraging table. And in the middle tab here, you're going to see two poles. You see a durable fishing pole, as well as a regular fishing rod. The regular fishing rod requires some timber, titanium, and string. And then the durable fishing pole requires durasteel bars, silver bars, and synthetic materials. Now, the fishing rod basically allows you to uh, fish on the regular water planets, such as like the, um, the Arctic arctic planets as well as the ocean planets and then the durable fishing rod allows you to fish in magma and poison so that is how you make each of the two rods that you can use to uh fish all right so let's go into how to actually fish go ahead and select your rod that's now on the toolbar hold down the attack button and throw your hook into the water at this point you have control over the hook with aswd so Right is D, left is A, down is S, as you'd expect. W brings it back up. And you want to bring the hook right next to one of the fish, one of the fish's silhouettes that you see in the water. Once you have it, you're going to want to reel it in with the attack button or W. While you're reeling in, you can hear that reeling in sound. Uh, as soon as it starts to fight against you, and you start hearing like the rod starting to strain, you want to let go of the button that you're using to reel it in. Let's go ahead and catch another one. Maybe something a little harder than that one. So just gonna bring the hook over. Come on, it's not harder than that. Yeah, we'll just catch this one. There we go. So as you can hear that straining noise, and you can see that the fish is trying to swim away from you. You want to let go of the reeling. The you want to let go of the reeling button, or you're gonna lose the fish. So just keep keep reeling until you hear the noise. Reeling, reeling, reeling. And then let go when it starts to strain. And then reel it in. So you want to look at your collections listing here. So you just click on collections and then click on fish here. This is going to tell you kind of what the different levels of fish are at. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you exactly. You got to look on the wiki to find out exactly what uh, rarity each one of these fish are. But you can kind of eyeball it. The first three are your common fish. The next four after that are your uncommon fish. The four after that are your rare fish. And the very last one is the legendary fish of that particular biome. So they're kind of in order in a way that allows you to understand what the rarity of each one is. So once you've caught your first three, the first common fish, and it'll be really fast too because they're all over the place. You're going to want to start fishing a little bit more carefully. And I'll show you how to do that. All you, can, all you want to do is you just want to keep the hook away from the common fish and you can see the silhouettes in the collection so that one you can totally tell is number 38 here which is called the red hand you just want to keep it away from that one this one's obviously the soul fish you just want to just keep your hook away eventually they're going to run out of steam and and just ignore you put the hook back in and just wait for that rare fish to appear there we go. That one's number 40, which is called a Scarlet Swell Pearl. Let's go ahead and reel this guy in. Reeling it in. Letting go of the reel. Reeling it. Oh, letting go. Reeling it in. Letting go. It's a good thing I'm on admin mode. That bird would be attacking me right now. <laughs> And then go ahead and collect your fish. So the thing that you want to think about while you're fishing is as soon as you have all three of these fish already caught, you only want to pick up the um, uncommon and above. Now, the uncommon and above will give you the opportunity of picking up an upgrade for your, for your uh, rod. So you can either get an upgrade for your reel. Like you can see here, I have a high speed reel on the reel uh, upgrade and a motorized lure on the lore side. So I'm going to go over each one of the different upgrades that you can pick up and uh, we'll also talk about which ones I feel are the best. Alright. 
So there are three reel upgrades. The first one is the high speed reel, which allows you to reel in fish a lot faster. The high tension reel, which gives you a little bit more wiggle room while reeling something in, so that way it can strain against you a little bit longer than it would normally. And then you have the high capacity reel, which allows your hook to go deeper into the liquid. The illuminated, illuminated lure allows you to see the silhouette, or actually see the fish, uh, sooner than you would uh, normally, where you would normally just see the shadow of a fish. The motorized lure allows you to control the, the hook while it's in the water a lot better. And the sinking lure allows the, the hook to drop a lot faster as well. Now, the, these things are pretty rare. Like, I was able to find two of them in the hour and a half that I was streaming earlier today. So, don't expect these lures to just fly out of the water. Uh, you're you're, you're going to have to be fishing for quite a while. Like I said, two in about an hour and a half span of time. The other thing you need to be keep in mind is you got to be constantly fishing fish that are of the rarity uncommon and above. So those are the three upgrades you can get. And uh, these upgrades work a lot like the pet collars do. If you were to apply... Let's see, where is my... Um, here's my regular fishing rod. It's got a basic reel and a basic lower on it. Let's throw a high tension reel on there. You just right click. If you're to replace the reel with another, you don't get the other reel back. So keep that in mind. Maybe you might want multiple rods. That way you can have different setups. But, uh, but just keep that in mind. You don't get them back when you replace it on top of it. The setup I like to go with is the high-speed reel as well as the motor motorized lure. The high-speed reel allows you to pull things in faster. So that means you're getting more fish in a faster, shorter amount of time. And the motorized, lo a motorized lure allows me to control the hook a lot better so that I'm not picking up the fish that I don't want to pick up. Now, uh, something can be said about the... Uh, what, where is it? Oh, I... I copied over it, but the high tension reel is also another good pick as well because a lot of the more rare fish are harder to pull in and they're they're it's easy for them to break this break the line on your fishing on your fishing rod. So having the high tension reel is also good for that too. Like maybe you're not may not be caring about speed but more about uh, how sure you are about pulling a, a fish in. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about are the different variables that you need to keep in mind when hunting for the fish that uh, are haven't been caught yet. The first fishing variable that you need to be knowledgeable about when catching certain type of fish is obviously the biome. You have a different set of fish per biome. So most of these ones that I've been catching are in the love are in the magma planet biome. And they're all ordered really nicely too. So I would imagine that these fish are the magma, these fish are the arctic, and then uh, maybe the second one here are the poison and this is obviously the oce oceanic planets. So the biome is the first variable that uh, you'll be taking a look at when deciding on what fish to pick up. The second variable is going to be the, the, the time of day. Sometimes some fish, uh, they only come out at night. Some fish only come out during the day. There are other fish that come out at any time. So keep that in mind that if you're not catching a fish, try to keep fishing until it's daytime or nighttime, depending on when you're fishing. The third variable is how deep you are. Now, if you're familiar with jumping into, you know, magma planets or, or, or water planets, you'll notice there's kind of a light area of the water or the liquid that you're looking at. So there's like a lighter area here. And then if you go down, you'll see a darker area. So you can see that transition right here in my elevator shaft. So up here's the light, here's the dark. You want to be able to fish into the darker area for deep fish and in the lighter area will be for the other the other fish. So those are the three variables that you're going to be looking at in terms of which fish you're going to want to catch. Now, the next section of this video, I'm going to go over basically spoilers on, you know, kind of some of the legendary fish and maybe some of the rare fish. That way you guys can see, you know, what to expect and how to catch certain fish. All right, so I'll give you guys a chance to to turn the video off now if you don't want to hear any uh, any spoilers. But if you're willing to hear some spoilers, keep on listening. The easiest way to figure out what fish you want to get where is obviously by going to the Starbounder, the official Starbound wiki, 
starbounder.org slash fish hash fishing. There is a really amazing table that goes over all the variables we spoke about. The depth, the time, as well as the biome. Ocean, Arctic, Toxic, and then Magma. It also lists out all of the different requirements for each of the different fish. So if you're looking, for, like I want to get the ma Magmalodon. Magmalodon. It's a large fish. It's a legendary status. Uh, it will approach the lore as well as needing to be deep. And it doesn't matter if, it, if it's whether or not it's day or night. The other legendary fish is called the Dark Gem Brain. This is in the Toxic Biome. It, uh, you can find it in the deep water, and it also can be seen either day or night. The Variegated Breacher is your legendary in the Arctic, in the Arctic biomes. It's also deep, and it, it can also be found on both day and night. Seems to be the, the, going, the going rate <laughs> for each of the legendaries. Deep. Oh, no. Um, okay, yep. Oh, there it is. Deep approach day or night and then the particular biome that you're looking for so make sure to head over to starbounder.org slash fish pound fishing and you'll be able to get this cool really big table that has all the information you'd ever want to know about what fish requires what variables to catch them all right, folks, so this is Johnny O'Knows playing Starbound version 1.1. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.